What's up guys, welcome back to, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be working on my wife's 335 IS. And uh, I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but let me just show you guys how we actually got to this point. So the 335 IS is a car we're trying to save. This thing is an absolute beaut, a limited production car, and it's definitely something you wanna get on the road. Now this car honestly uh, does have a lot more damage than we anticipated, and it's definitely something that's stepping a little bit out of our comfort zone on, but thankfully we do have some neighbors that can actually help us tackle this thing. So that is the reason why we're actually saving this car, because there's hope for it. There's definitely hope. So for those of you guys on your lunch break, make sure to get your food ready, get that Coca-Cola ready, and let's go ahead and jump into the video. So now that we got off the broken fender, we got off the side skirt, we pretty much got everything off over here as well. Um, we pretty much just need to disconnect the caliper, disconnect the shock, and then the, pretty much the front end of the car is ready to go. The next step will be pretty much disconnecting the drive shaft and uh, just moving this under belly pan, stuff like that, um, just so we can actually drop the transmission and the engine all together. Um, what I actually did, because this is not my typical engine pull, um, I left pretty much the power steering lines all connected, the transmission lines, um, the oil lines. I pretty much left everything connected to make less of a mess all you guys see over here um, was primarily either from brake fluids which is just a little section right there um, or honestly from that washer take that thing was absolutely full and uh, a little bit of coolant obviously when disconnecting the radiator but other than that um, we're not gonna make too much of a mess which is nice which also means we pull everything out it shouldn't be leaking everything should be pretty straightforward when we put it back into the car once it gets repaired uh, but yeah it's not looking too bad I mean at least we didn't find anything new on that side but that side wasn't the primary damage that side was so let's go ahead disassemble everything on that side so we can see if there's actually even more damage to find out. Now the good news guys, after removing the side skirt, didn't see any noticeable damage, no previous damage as well. And then actually removing the fender as well, exposed nothing, which we're super happy about. The only thing that was pretty much damaged is this little bracket right over here that sits on this piece. But even this piece right over here seems to be in pretty good shape. So this probably is reusable. I don't even think we have to touch this. I think the only thing we pretty much have to touch and replace is this, uh, you know, frame rail right here. We'll probably desolder this whole, you know, this whole upper section and then just re-weld it right there. So I think that's the best way to go about it but that being said regardless if we want this to be a proper job as you guys can see how bad that hit is right there and just how tweaked everything else is and the subframe and everything the proper way to do it is by dropping this engine so now that we've got everything else out of the way on the front end it is almost ready to actually hit the frame shop but obviously before we do that we need to pull the engine and transmission so without further ado let's go ahead get in the bottom of this car and pull out the heart and beast of this 335 is What I meant to say was kinda good hood. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, this thing's already damaged. Now it's time to actually pull out this engine. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, this took me a whole lot longer than I wanted it to take and that's mainly because when you take apart a car that you want to put back together, you want to take off everything and then put the bolts all back in place. You want to make sure that the things you take off, you don't actually snap anything. And uh, this is taking me literally four times longer than your typical uh, engine pull. But uh, I think we're almost there.
after hours and hours of work on the 335 IS, what you guys see right over here is everything we had to get removed literally just to get the engine out. We had to get the side skirts off, both fenders. Both fenders are not here because they're both junk, so you ended up throwing in the scrap pile. Um, the door seals, the wheel liners, um, these are the secondary cats. It looks like the, actually the previous owner um, had these clamps throughout the entire exhaust. So I didn't actually have to drop the entire exhaust, which is kind of nice. I just had to drop the two mid pipes basically, um, and then that came out. We gotta move the ECU right there, and then obviously the main bread and butter, the transmission and engine, and uh, the suspension as well. We I am about to actually separate the subframe from the engine because this subframe, it is just completely mingled up. You guys saw how bad it is on this side. Uh, like literally this, I mean, I, get, I don't know if this would have been repairable with the engine inside the car. Like this is this is pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. So, but yeah, before actually working on this, I do wanna show you guys something pretty cool that I saw a little bit earlier. And uh, that's some Index 12s. So super happy this engine comes with Index 12s, all, 12, all six of them. So, you know, that's just something we would have had to do to this car uh, because I mean, Index 12s for the win. Uh, but thankfully this car has it. Just also makes us feel a little bit better about our purchase because it was a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, anywho, without further ado, guys, I'll come back to you guys when I actually get the subframe off of this thing. But again, more time lapse. Just got a lot of work to do. So now that I pretty much got everything else sorted, you guys saw I was taking apart the front suspension over here on the ground and uh, finally got up everything that we needed from it and just the rest of the parts that we didn't really need. We had doubles up, went ahead, put it on the rack, we're gonna end up cleaning up and listing it on our page, Natty Auto Parts. If you guys need any parts, particularly for 335 E92s or even E90s, we have a bunch of parts for those cars. Um, we are getting some F10s, we do have an F we have a bunch of parts for F30s, we have actually some uh, parts for G80s and a bunch of other cars, just doing a little plug right here. If you guys need any parts for your BMWs, make sure to check out Natty Auto Parts. Um, but yeah, for now guys, uh, we do have the, the engine pretty much out of the car, and uh, I mean, now it's pretty much easy to actually get the job done. Now honestly, I could probably do this myself, but to be honest, for the price he gave us, and he's right here, it's gonna be quick and easy, it's a no hassle to me, and a professional is gonna get this area all fixed up for us. Um, I do need to replace this AC line right over here. Um, it is a little bit bent and because the engine's out right now, it makes it super easy for us to just replace that. So we'll replace that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. And we're going to slap on the hood um, and a few other things tomorrow, just getting this thing pretty much prepped up, even past the, even the subframe and the shocks. So we can actually get the two wheels on here and make it a rolling chassis. Um, ideally, that's what we want to do. Obviously, the, the subframe's not going to fully bolt up, but if we can get like two of the bolts in there, um, it'll make it to where at least we can push it out into their shop. The engine's just looking so good right here. Honestly, guys, this thing has no leaks and it just looks like it was very well kept. So, I mean, if we really wanted to part out this car, it was just, it's just such a mint 335 IS. There's literally no leaks, but I think what we're gonna go ahead and do because everything's out, we're gonna put a probably a brand new valve cover gasket on here, new oil filter housing gasket, new oil pan gasket, just fully service it um, and just, you know, make it a perfect 335 IS. It even has the index 12s, which I was very happy to see. And uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's been a long day. I'm gonna go pack up a few orders um, and then call it a night. Probably gonna be heading out here around 9, 8, 9 p.m. tonight, but gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. And good morning, guys. This is the next day. I am here at the shop with my brother. He's actually cleaning some parts right now. He's push a shout out to him. Um, so yeah, what we got going on right now today is honestly just getting this car pretty much touched up and ready to actually go to the frame shop. So we need to actually put this thing on all four wheels. You need to put on the subframe, the hood. Um, and I have a lot of parts that we need to end up listing that came from either the E93 or this car, the extra parts that we didn't really need. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of stuff we have to get done today. A lot of stuff to do. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get them done.
So guys, finally we got the subframe back on the car. I'm not gonna lie, none of the bolts on this side lined up whatsoever, and that rear one on this side did not line up either, mainly because the subframe's kind of tweaked a little bit to the uh, the, the passenger side. So uh, yeah. The fact that we got um, you know, both shocks, the wheels, and able to at least move this thing to the frame shop is pretty nice. Um, but this thing definitely needs brand new frame rails. Um, I think honestly they could repair this. Um, we'll see, because it's not really too buckled. I definitely think it's repairable, and I think it's probably better if they repair it. Um, but uh, we'll see, whatever they recommend, we'll go with that. And uh, we do have the frame rails, thankfully, so we just do what we need to do. But anyways, now that this stuff sorted, the only thing that's kind of getting in the way um, is just, you know, for the body shop people and for me as well, is these current airbags and the driver airbags. So just go ahead and just cut these out. Brand new blade, it makes it super easy to just cut through these. Um, if you have a dull blade, it's such a pain. But uh, this is a brand new blade, so makes life a whole lot easier. Make sure we're not cutting up this headliner. I just realized that. All right, so that is good enough for now to get in and out of the passenger side. Let's go ahead and just cut out that driver airbag as well. Get his new, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That does, damn, this thing looks, I love the 335 IS interior. This thing looks amazing. Let me know what you guys think about all this carbon fiber stuff that's all up in the interior. I don't even know what this is there for. It's literally all over the car. I ripped off a few right here. It's literally all over the car. Let me know what all that Velcro is for. And let me know if we should leave on this carbon fiber. I'm thinking about taking all this stuff off. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, this e-brake right here does look super good. That's in carbon fiber. I think we're gonna leave that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about all that stuff on the dash. I don't know how I feel about it. So yeah, without further ado, that pretty much concludes today's video. We got a lot of work Work to do in terms of Natty Auto Parts. We gotta get all these parts out to some of our customers. We have a lot of parts we need to start packing up, but the 335 IS is ready to go over to the frame shop. Um, so yeah, super happy to get this thing back. As soon as we get it back, we got the beautiful engine and transmission. Hopefully we're gonna try to service as much as we can on these two before actually slapping it inside the car. Uh, I mean, come on, it's, it's already out of the car. It'll just be a whole lot more convenient and it'll just be a clean little refresh for a 78,000 mileage uh, 335 IS. Super stoked to get that on the road. Hopefully in the next video, you guys will see me either working on either my friend's car or my brother's this car which is the one behind this a lot of you guys have guessed so far what it is and uh, I'm not gonna give any hints so it's what you guys are thinking there's no way you guys are gonna be disappointed this thing is pretty sick uh, but yeah it's either gonna be working on that build or the m3 in the back over there um, so it's either one of those or we'll probably get this thing back we'll see which ones it is but we got so much going on Ho hopefully all three of these cars are gonna be here at the shop for a car meet that I'm planning on hosting right over here in this location so I'm super stoked to do that but uh, until then um, we got to get these three bad boys on the road so without further ado, guys gonna have to conclude the video I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I'll see you on the next one peace out